Yeah, what do you what think, do you think goes? goes? Cock and money. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the pilot episode of Keeping It Real. My name is Emily. My name is Yo. And uh, we have our guests with us here today. Would you guys like to introduce yourself? My name is Kimberly. My name is Jillian. And the guys? I'm John. I'm the most handsome man in Singapore, <laughs> Ashton. Today's topic will be how girls view guys or vice versa, how guys view girls. So I see the most common perception, not most common, but a popular notion that's shared among the public is that guys are always trash or guys are always the problem. No way. The thing is, I think that guys are- I second are, that, no way. No way, right? Yeah. I think oh, that, yes, I agree, I agree. Chances yeah, are, I think that oftentimes we come from a different perspective. And that's why I think today is a good time we we share both sides and we... Girls, what do you think about the... I mean, so far, all men have disappointed me. <laughs> yeah. I can, say, I can see the same. I'm looking at... <laughs> I guess, I guess you guys haven't met us. <laughs> uh, well, I think you're setting about very, very high for yourself, but okay. How about this? How about this? First, we listen from the guys. Mm -hmm. What they think girls want from them. And yeah. then we check with them what they really want. Mm. Okay, let's hear it. Yeah, what you want from us? I think I think girls want what they can have. They what always you? they always want uh things that are seemingly out of reach or seemingly uh what guys uh don't possess in that sense that guys always uh they do not well, as long as they don't see what they want they will say that they're not trying. So basically, to, they just want to suck you dry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you want to put it down there, right, I mean, it's, you I mean, just yeah. suck your energy and yeah, just like yeah. gone. I mean, I mean right. if, if a guy, I mean, if a guy has a, a way of, of showing his love that way and the lady uh, doesn't see it that way, they'll say that, oh, he doesn't but don't care. But do you agree right. that you should always love someone in the language they prefer to be loved? Oh, okay. definitely. Oh, but wait, wait, before that, mm -hmm. let's just hear what guys think what goes on from them. Okay. And then, Ash, thank you, John, for your percep <laughs> perception. <laughs> How about you? Yeah. yeah, what do you think it goes? Cock and money. <laughs> Fair? No, we're not wrong. Okay, cock Fair money, enough. physical affection. Okay. And maybe some emotional support when they are on their... Some? This is why... Okay, okay. A, lot, a lot of some. emotional support when they are going through their tough times, you know. Maybe their dog died, maybe their grandma died. Fuck off. Okay. 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 Alright. Okay, what do you guys think about that? I already have something to say, but like, I'll let you guys take the floor first. Julian? Please, girls don't ask for so much. Not all girls, maybe me. I don't ask for a lot from my boyfriend. Like, what I usually see in my boyfriend is the little things that he does for me. Opening the car door, opening any door, whatever door, and also Open doing... That's why she's door. attached. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's why she's still in a relationship. Door. Because the guy and her... Are, you, you're, but you're I did, I did encounter a lot of trashy guys in the past before I met my current boyfriend. So... I think it's a half and half. Yeah. Okay. I mean, okay. I'm going to expand on your point. You say something like girls always want something that they can't have. But what yeah. makes you think that what girls want, you just can't provide? Uh, I think there is always that need for communication, right? right. So um, it always ends up with uh, one party jumping to conclusion. So when you jump to conclusion, that leads to uh, getting personal and you start to forget about the focus of what you're getting upset on. So a lot of times you start going like, oh, you don't, you don't love me at all because you're not trying. And the guy gets insulted like, oh, how can you say I'm not trying? So they immediately go, yeah, you're not trying. It's like, oh yeah, okay, I, I'm not trying. And then you'll, you'll start to go in this back and forth fight of like... But how is that, but how is that us wanting something that we can't, can't have? Because without proper communication, you start to... Like, it's, it's, it's very abstract now, but... Have, not having what you 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 uh what girls want is because there is always the assumption that guys can't provide it. Yes, what I'm saying. Yeah, so if guys can't provide it, uh, but you're assuming that guys can't provide it, right? No, no, that like, no. Like, I'm, I'm talking based on your point. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that girls always want uh things that they can't have. But is there anything specific? Is that yeah? 
like they're always wanting a guy that's sensitive but at the same time they want a guy that that that, that you know that there's like guys that are sensitive and yet there are guys that take dominance so so oh. they want like they want feminine uh they want feminine so characteristics guys like don't i think right we will talk we will touch on that point later mm-hmm. but right now before we move on we should listen from kimberly yeah. what would you like in a guy just like you mentioned you there are trashy guys in as well right yeah so in that case what do you look for is it like physical appearance if like a Korean oppa walks in but he's a douchey bag with like ah it's okay nah or, I don't care about appearances I think it's about right, how a person real. like puts themselves out like, honestly <laughs> right I don't really have a type of guy I think like as a person like, I kind of want to know the person as a whole whether okay. or not this person is family oriented this person does acts of service whether or not he has ambition or like you know mm-hmm. like there's a future in front of him and stuff <laughs> Is there, laugh, any, laugh. <laughs> is there any clear cut red flags? If that one thing you see, like deal like, breakers, basically in a guy. Like oh hell no, and you're like deal breakers. Uh. And then we'll talk about like, deal breakers for you guys. You guys see, like, if you guys have any? Yeah, cheaters. Cheaters. Like yeah. if they've cheated before. Yeah. Mm. Oh, so you think like or like liars? Guys can't change. Oh yeah. You yeah. Think, guys do you think a leopard always? Like, a leopard never leopard. changes its spot. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh yeah. Like like <laughs> like I can't like. Or is it cheetah? No, left right. Cheetah. I think yeah, I basically the same, right? Okay. Big cats, big cats. Yeah, yeah, I can't shave off my mole, right? So it's the same, <laughs> but I cannot feel <laughs> my spots. But, but you can laser them off. Yeah, la, but that's because there's oh. technology, ma. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, fair. So, cheater, liar. Liars. Yes, like us, red flag. Very red flag. I always say, I always say like, ah, oh, this is my deal breaker, this is my deal breaker. But then, like, I always find myself in a situation, like, if I really like a guy, right? Yeah. I think it's a me thing that I, something like I have to work on personally, but like, I always overlook these deal breaker traits. Obviously, if he cheats on me, that's a deal breaker. That's a straight no, like you're out, mm, right? right? But with like every other aspect, like oh, if you lie a lot, you do this, you know, like you yeah, jack off to the, like other girls on Instagram, da 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 da. Like, I'd be like, oh, that's a deal breaker for me. But then, like, if I find out they do it and I really like the guy, I just kind of like disrespect myself by like, right. I'll just stay with them. I mean, I've broken yeah. up with a few over time, but like, that's just a pattern. Mm. I can't deal with guys that hide. The girls behind people's back. Like, what's the point okay. of hiding? Like, they hide, like, they don't tell their Wait, parents. before that? Oh, yes! Fucking sick! Oh my god, Wait. I'm talking to you, by the way. I know you're watching. <laughs> before that, would any guys would like, would like to respond to their red flags? Because I, I think we have, like, the same red flags. Right. Uh, I think cheating, true. cheating is definitely, I think, like, the root of cheating is lying. Cheating is not yeah. even a red flag. Yeah. Cheating is just... It's like the, it's like the, it's, it's a, the ultimate, right? It's, I, the, it's like a flag. I would so, say, <laughs> I would say that, yeah. whether a guy or a girl, all you want is to be loved. Right. And part of that love, right, is trust. So right, everything right. That, like yes. red flags and stuff will be yeah. you're breaking trust. La. And yes. like for a relationship to function, it can't yes. function without trust. Yes, definitely. I, so, I, I, I believe that. But okay, so Okay, what do you think are some yeah. what do you break us for you? The most gorgeous yeah. man in Singapore. What do you okay, think? Okay, so if she talks to other guys, that's a red flag. If uh if she breathes if she be- breathes the oxygen of other man is also a red flag. If she <laughs> talks to her dad, that's talking to another man. So I, I don't like it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, okay. if, she, if she has a brother, it's a red flag. I got you. No <laughs> other man other than me. Yep. Nice. So basically, a green flag to you is a girl who is lonely. So if you talk to your little brother, red flag. I, I think what what he's saying uh, in, in in the in out, out of all the the bull that there's that little seriousness of like how a uh, Guys know what other guys want. It's the and, same as girls. Yeah, so so when a guy doesn't want a a lady to have other guy friends, it's because they know that guys are sticking around as your friend because they are like trying to fuck you. <laughs> basically. <laughs> it's the same for girls. Yeah. Like we will know yeah, what type of girls will yeah. like linger yeah, yeah, around yeah. you and we know and what you feel other the vibe, involved. right? You feel yeah. the vibe. But there's yeah. like a fine line between that and just plain being possessive. Do I think yeah. that? <laughs> Well, I was joking about my previous points. <laughs> okay. So, uh, you ready to be serious? No, no, I'm kidding. So, <laughs> what are your actual deal breakers? Yeah. Um, oh, very hard, eh? What, you or? Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, personality or what? Yeah, um, we can talk about In terms of everything. Everything? Like, appearance, like, okay, um, if she's fat, I'm not going to date her. 
Oh, okay, so that's just like, oh, we're going, we're going into that. Actually, but we're going into that. She's fat and if she's ugly. I'm not going to date her. No, there's the question, right? <laughs> if you like for guys, if you're not physically attracted to the girl, should you tell her? Like, it's like, isn't I it don't like, think that's not necessary. Okay, if you're in a relationship with a girl, then and you don't find your girlfriend attractive, that's kind of a really big problem. So why are you right. discussing that with her? Yeah. But yeah. like, if let's say you're like on a date, first date with her or something like that, mm. or she's just a friend, why the fuck would you say? I think you're kind of fucking ugly, eh? Can right. you like, you know, like, what's yeah. the point in telling someone you think that they're ugly if they're not a romantic interest in your life? Mm. Yeah, I mean, if I'm on a date with a girl for the first time and I think she's a, a bit plus size or if I think she's a, not very facially advantaged, then I wouldn't tell her. I would just, you know, keep it to myself. Okay. Yeah, respect. Yeah. Respect. What then at what point, what point will you start? Oh, I, I, would I would never tell her. I'll just talk shit about her with my friends. Oh! No! <laughs> oh, damn! Oh, I mean, well, you that. made your choice, brother. So, so you, you, you mean you're always like, you're just like, oh yeah, you're so beautiful. And it's like, no, 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 no. What the fuck? Okay, that's a difference, right? That's a difference, okay? I, I may find them not attractive, but I do right. not lie. So, if they ah. ask me, Fair. if they ask me like, do you think I'm pretty? I, I wouldn't say no, because that's like kind of a dick move. But I'd say, I'd say more of a... You can do better. <laughs> that you're not really my type, you know, because uh, by saying but that, you're still kind of be in the feelings. relationship. Yeah. You'll so, still be in the relationship. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, like, like I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even be in a relationship. Oh, okay. okay, so right. it's still... Yeah. Okay. Everyone has a standards. Mm. Definitely. But I think that everyone has like different standards because um, different guys also has different opinions on girls. Like some guys just like Chinese girls, some guys just like Malay girls or like mixed girls. So it's, like, it's really different. That's the fetish. The, the fetish. Like the it's fetish. a preference. Please explain more. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fetish. They, they, only, they only date the, the you know, they, like the yeah, guys that just date only Asian girls. Okay. Yeah, but it's their own preference. But we're talking about advantage. So, oh, yeah. All like the advantages. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Wait, 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 They'll find all Asian girls okay. like prettier, you know, because like they only date Asian girls. Yeah, but like this, but like even within the realm of like race, right? There's. Mm -hmm. Yeah objectively good looking people yes and definitely definitely more definitely. unique good looking people. yeah yes that's yeah, right. yeah definitely i think like like for good looking people in general like there's a huge advantage because some people will hire you based on like just because you look a certain way when you talk about like hostessing or like you're talking about modeling gates right. those are li uh, literally because your looks are looks. yeah yeah your looks mm. are needed yeah i'm gonna tell me like the strategy when it comes to like dating is like when they, they pick like uglier girls because they know other guys won't want them. Wow. Okay, Wait, that's that's but that's being true to yourself. So they have low self-confidence basically. Yeah. So like lying to yourself. No, yeah. but it's also like playing on someone else's insecurities, right? That's right. Yeah. But the thing is like, that's why they told me like, oh, you know, I will date a girl that's like yeah. ugly so that- But that doesn't that mean no they are insecure? Because they, they won't they, they dare to- not, Yeah, they don't yeah. dare to pursue something they actually feel is attractive because they feel that they're not attractive enough to keep them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's probably, that's probably it lah. Hmm. Yeah. So do you think there is like for you in terms of like perspective of a guy and you being the most gorgeous guy in yeah. Singapore, do you think you have more advantage than other normal Singaporean guys? Of course. <laughs> wow. All right, and thank when you. I, when <laughs> I order it. food at the hawker center, right, mm. I give the Taipung lady a flying kiss, then she give me more food. For <laughs> She gave you an extra extra spoon of chili and yeah, she gave me more potato. <laughs> more potato. More potato. Yeah. So next time you order food, yes, you sure she wasn't just trying to clear the tree. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> she gave me potato, uh, I gave her my shrimp. Uh. <laughs> Speaking of shrimps. Speaking of shrimp, the side man. Good looking people do have an advantage for first impressions. Yes. Right. Yes. But if it's a long game, like whether relationship and stuff, then after it goes to your next, like whether you're charismatic. Yes. Uh, whether your size matters, whether your performance matters and stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. It's all about the long game. Looks are like <laughs> a very temporary thing. That's true. Yeah. Like, it looks like a double-edged sword. I feel like, yes. like it helps, and but but you also need to like substantiate it with like, like personality. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. like, you, I, I don't know if you've heard that saying, and people have been broken up with just because of this, but like guys would be like, oh, I don't know, roll over in bed, wake up and look at your face. You know yes, I mean? I've got, like, I've got yeah. that fucking brutal. Yeah. Like, yeah. Fuck, I also don't want to see your face. I, I think girls can be equally brutal as well. Yes, it's, yes, yes. Yeah. And cruelty exists yes, in both yes. sides. This is in terms of, there is personality, appearance, and then fashion sense. Because if a girl dress nicely, you know, and a guy's dress nicely. Mm -hmm. So, in terms of dressing, what turns you off? Hi, beast. 
Yes. I'm talking about Explain. my ex. I hope I hope you watch this. All right. Oh yes. <laughs> I backed that up though. I backed that up. Why? Like because hype beasts literally they wear like. Do you see before? It's before? fucking ugly. Yeah, like I mean, before Kanye got cut. Trash. Oh my You're goodness! You're trash. It's like a big block of Legos that got stuck to your foot. <sighs> yeah, and and like you would pay seven hundred bucks just because of like the brand name, and like I know my friend. Uh, he was wearing. Like I thought he was wearing pajamas out. Okay. And then literally his whole outfit cost over four digits. Like it was it was expensive. And that's my first boyfriend, right? He had an armpit fetish. Straight up. I was about yeah, to say it's, it's, it's a new fetish, fetish discovery. No, <laughs> it's a new fetish about, discovery. You know, like, yeah, yeah. Like in general, but what she's saying is that you, you won't yeah. even realize their you scent like being right. an you, issue. Yeah. Uh, After a while you'll start to adapt to each other and you'll oh, start yeah. to Yeah, 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 yeah. As long as like It's true. It becomes really acceptable. It becomes natural. So it's true. The gorgeous, the most gorgeous man in Singapore. What do you think? On what? Bo. On your bo. Is it also as gorgeous as you? Like who's bo? My bo. Your bo. <laughs> I don't know. I got no bo because I always smell very nice. Ah. Hey, yeah, faster check. Faster check. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I guess you're comparing. You're saying the bo is coming from the neck, and you're switching the wrong area. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <it's> real <laughs> Wow. I need. Uh, if you smell here, also. Guys, keep it PG, guys. Keep it PG. We're here to sell shrimps. Anyways, um, any other pet peeves? Like oh. smoking or tattoos? Oh, yeah, I, I tattoos? fucking hate yeah, smokers some and like vapors. Tattoos and some people are like, sorry, what? I hate smokers and vapors. It's so disgusting. You guys like smoke and vapor yourself. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's vapes? Get your life, bitch. No, 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 you're sm- oh, so what's vapes, guys? There's no big track. No, it's like no, I think that. Oh, yeah. yeah. You suck, alright? It looks like. Re- <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. Just breathe air. Okay, just breathe air. Fair enough. I think for me, right, my pet peeves would definitely be like t- tattoos and oh. um, smokers. Oh, big sm- smokers also. Because, oh. like. Why? I don't know why, but when I was younger or like. Like Siggies? Yeah, Siggies. Siggies. Like some, like, some people told me that, like, a smoker's cock, right? It seems smelly. <laughs> Smokers what? <laughs> smokers cock them smelly. Wait, someone told you as a kid? Yeah. I said, like, when I was like, like, primary school, they were like, oh, don't smoke. Wait. Because like, someone tra- told me to, like, stop smoking. So it's like, like don't smoke. It's like, you were smoking? To re- no, they were trying to, like, stop. Ah. Like, prevent me from smoking. Wait, so they were like, hey, if you smoke, right, your pussy will be smelly. <laughs> and, and primary what? school. That's true, right? Yeah, which stopped me, you know, from, like, one day. Primary school, but primary you're school, told when you. Like, from, like, some outsider, la, they were like, hey, you don't smoke. It's like, the Yeah. Huh? Uh, they were like my age lah. Then like they were like telling me, "Hey, don't tell my papa tell me that if you smoke on your your that one smell." Uh, Why is the papa telling the guy man? <laughs> <laughs> context, context, guys. Context. Uh, I think I feel like that's more like traumatic childhood. Experience. Yeah, no, that's like that's super traumatic. Ever since then, right, I just feel like right, wow. That. Like when I look at the side of a smoker, I'm like. Maybe the dir- like dirtier you, and, and you won't even get to the fucking penis. Like with the second they come up to, for me, it's the yeah, same thing. It's smelly, it's, like, yeah. The sticky breath. Yeah. Like right. if you come up to me and like, we're about to kiss or whatever, and I smell that, it would just oh, get the fuck yeah. away from me. Like yeah. I, I don't like the smell, just personally. Get out. Which is why I won't. I have. I've never. I will never smoke ciggies as well because I just don't like the smell. Oh. You know what I mean? yeah. If we're on the topic of smell, right? What yeah. if? What if you suck the guy's cock? Then after that, his cock is not smelly, right? Yeah. But then you want him to eat your pussy, right? But your pussy is so fucking smelly. <laughs> then then how? He can he can just test smell first. See then if you I, like I, it or not. Like, if he tests smell, you, 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 you I, I smell is it. Is you see there's this foreplay <laughs> where, <laughs> like, where like you're kissing all the way down and then you just give like a casual kiss to, to, to give a smell test. So it's like, oh, so it's, like, it's, like them, it's like you're doing a casual <laughs> like, so like, you're kissing, the thigh, so you're kissing the inner thigh, right? And then you're just trying to <laughs> just test it and then and then if it smells okay then you'll go. If not, yeah. then you'll just skip it. <laughs> but all, all cocks are smelly. No, that's not oh, true. Really. Uh, How you know? Have you heard of smell? <laughs> <laughs> right. No, no, because like, the cocks that are this in again it is like the love languages, right? So right. So like the bare minimum for her is is quality time, which is like let's say two 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 hours of of just me, you, no phone, nothing, uh, just hanging out. But his could be just acts of service, which could which could be just you know buying you food or like thinking of you, and therefore like oh I I heard you you needed a new bag, and then he got you a new bag, and then she doesn't recognize that, and then she might see that that's not brain fart. Yeah, but I I think like like earlier we mentioned, but like 
you should always love someone in the way that they can understand you. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's it's that communication. So who I is think. it on though? Oh, Who's like th- it's really about uh really letting them know that you really want quality time but and and then uh, also letting the other know that like acts of service is their way of showing it. So it's really uh finding that middle ground of making them know that both parties are trying, right? Like mm. what about the yeah. ghost? Like what do you is there a way you can communicate? In a sense like um where basically for guys, we find it difficult to find a middle ground. And then he's saying we want to know the love language. So is there like from your point of view is like mm-hmm. what do you guys do? Or is there a way you guys I feel like the most basic way to come across this topic is just talking it out and like yeah. set it, set out like set what out you the, want, your expectations. Exactly. I feel like in a relationship there must always be a talk for both ends, boy yes. and girl, to okay. talk about or, yes. or whatever girl, boy, boy, boy. Um, it's important to talk about like your expectations and like what you want from your partner. And if your partner can't do that, you have to yes. find a common ground. Yes. For me, I think right. Um, what really will like fuck up the relationship would be <clears throat> when the girl or the guy, because it goes both ways. Mm-hmm. Whenever like it's clearly that they're not okay with, but they be like, I'm fine. Then like obviously the guy and the girl doesn't know if it's fine or not, right? So right. then they obviously continue on the day, but then they hold a grudge and hold a grudge, and that's when it snowballs, and that's when things become like the things they go offline. Hey, wait, things they they go haywire. Right. So that I mean that's when like you start pulling out like different things to talk about and like you start holding the grudges and then that's where like it really accumulates. So then the bare minimum starts to come out. Like, oh, have you ever thought about this? Like, that's a bare minimum, you know, kind of thing. Would you, like, it's about if you like say like, if I, as I'm calling my boyfriend and then like, he's like, so are you okay with this? Then I'm like, oh yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. But actually I'm not. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then I'll start to hold that grudge. And then it'll just carry forward. So what can guys do in that case? That's, that's what, the, that's what, mm. the, that's what, girls should do right. like they should be do. honest with themselves yes. mm. I, yeah. I agree that communication is very important like we should always communicate our needs but there are points in time like what you said like you can communicate as much as you want right. but the guys won't register that yeah. but like let's say like you want flowers right okay mm. you, ad- you address that need I want flowers yeah. it makes me feel special and it makes me feel loved yeah. right the guys will be like okay got it flowers and they'll do it like this one time and then the rest of the time they like forget about it yes. then it's like Mm, I don't want to have to keep reminding you all the time. I'm not your mom. You know what I mean? And I, I don't want you to feel like I'm your mom either. Yes. So it's like, it, it gets to a certain point that like, you have yes. to start picking up on these cues by yourself yes. and maintain consistency. Because otherwise, mm, it's that's, just... That's true. Yeah. Some of these things would be the bare minimum to girls. You know, like, would be like... Why do you want to talk about penises, is it? So, the most gorgeous <laughs> man in Singapore. What do you think? I think the bare minimum is bullshit because... If she doesn't meet your bare minimum, then why are you dating her? You know, and I think it has to be mm. very your bare minimum has to be very reasonable. Mm-hmm. You can't just have like some stupid standard where you snap your fingers, right? Like, and then she comes and sucks your cock. You know, you, you can't do that. Yeah, right? or, expect, or like, or, expect, like or, yeah. or her bare minimum can't be something you can't change. Okay, maybe the height thing is her preference, right? But bare minimum, bare minimum about like my cock size. You know, like one inch is enough. Okay, like what if her bare minimum <laughs> is three, right? Right. Mine is half. Like, what am I going to do about that? You know? I feel you, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I think we all share the same problem here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What, the I, I do think... Inch inch one. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, I think, like, let's just talk about this one last thing before we end off the podcast. So, all right. Uh, first episode. So, um, a lot of us are on social media these days. Do you guys think that social media creates a certain expectation of relationships For sure. shouldn't For sure. particularly be there? For sure. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like, on TikTok. It's like all over, like, like oh, like, you know oh, how like yeah. a couple will post something on TikTok? Oh, yeah. And then the comments would be like, oh, goodbye, I'm sleeping on the SOS3 and stuff like that. And, <laughs> I'm you know, drinking Clorox. Or like, they'll take their partners, <laughs> they'll take their partners and be like, why can't you be like this? Mm. And stuff. And I think it puts a lot of pressure on like these type right. of people. Right. Because oh, like, different people have yeah. their own ways of yeah. loving. Yeah. And like, different people have their own ways of accepting love. Right. Mm. So, yeah. the, and the way that the media puts it out, right, it kind of, it kind of like influence a lot of, pe- a lot of people that like, what other people cannot or yeah. might not even want to do. Yeah. 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 Everyone believes what they see on social media as absolute. Right. And that's bullshit. Because like, they'll base it off movies, they'll base it off um, skits, they'll base it off videos. And you can't say that that's absolute. I mean, that's, that's just life, man. 
Like don't, when you pick a picture of, yeah. uh, when you pick a picture to post of yourself, right? Obviously, it's yeah. the best one. It's yeah. the same thing with couples. Yeah, like you'll couples. find the right angle. You'll find the light, right lighting. It's you're not right. all sunshine and rainbows. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think more couples should post like their fights. Actually, I think like. No, that's like drawing. That's you say, hey, 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 hey. but there, there, there are, there are like, comments you know, that will say like, "What would you say in the past?" Mm. Yeah. Struggles. But, oh. oh, sorry, you, you're saying. Like, I think it's in, like I think some couples should like after they fix an issue or whatever, they should come together and they like they sit in front of camera and they talk about a struggle mm-hmm. they've had in the past. You know, like oh, you yeah. can't just break down that stereotype and mm. like make people uh, see there, more there are there are couples that talk about how like they deal with their their fights and stuff. Like those couples, like, like, like those uh, couple channels that tell you what they're trying to express and and how to solve like some arguments, like how like if let's say they say if a couple is saying this or they are actually saying this, that kind of thing. So it's like actually breaking down what they're actually trying to say. Mm. Like so, there are some there are some uh so- social media channels that are trying to ex- like express or, or change like the narrative of of how some couples yeah i mean i think that like i mean i would say like when when it comes to like putting out your relationship in public right mm. there's also like an ugly side to it oh, example is always like example for like more renowned people right or like influencers or like people in singapore where they really put themselves out and like oh i'm engaged to this person and then suddenly like 10 years later suddenly you just come on like we're divorced yeah and then people like like oh love isn't real and stuff I mean, I think that the media has a huge impact on like everyone. Yes. And like, yes. it's going to keep growing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So it's like, In it's fact, very there's scary. Some, there's some couples that stay together just for the, just almost for the, like a the business views. partner, you know, because yeah. the pressure to maintain this, this channel or this, and the this image. ongoing, yeah, mm. it's, it's, it's really damaging after a while. That's right. Yeah. Right. I think social media has, has given everybody very unrealistic standards of what relationships and what your girlfriend or boyfriend is supposed to look like. So I would say it's best to just go with what you feel is right and what you feel is good for you in a relationship. And if the relationship is hurting you or if it's uh, unhealthy, then you should just leave. Yes. Yes. I agree. I think in terms of like, you you talk about appearances, like what people should look like as well. Mm. That's so... Yeah. Okay, but then we'll spiral into another topic. But yeah, mm-hmm. I agree with that. All right, we're nearing the end to our podcast. But before we end it, uh, let's hear some last words from our participants. Um, no bad luck to us, all our exes, you know, all love for you, all the best for you. Just, we're talking about this for fun. But yeah, um, everyone just love yourself, okay? And love other people. And like to all my uh, previous uh, relationships slash situationships, I hope that you're very happy now. Yeah, I think uh, all relationships uh, are worth worth the fight for. Uh, I think uh, it's about communication and about co- uh, knowing that both are trying, or as long as both are trying, yeah, it, it should it should work out. Right. I don't like big tits. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we come to the end of this episode. I would like to thank the participants and the co- uh, my co-host Emily. Uh, We'll see you next time on Keeping It Real. See you. Bye. 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 Bye!